Welcome to a new edition of Heat Sinks. I am your host, Ben Knowles. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but it's about time. Plus, I've been talking about it on Cubs Out Loud, the podcast of indeterminate length for you Cubs, Bears, and others. This right here, by the way, guys, just a pimple gone bad, so don't think anybody's tried to beat the hell out of me because nobody can do that successfully. Got a lot to talk about on this episode. We are going to talk about the fuckers at Fuddruckers and the fact that their corporate office has chose uh, to have absolutely zero communication with me uh, regarding uh, an incident, which we'll be talking about here shortly. Sad news in the Cubs Out Loud world, the best joke ever has died. Edward Keel, otherwise known as Trollolo, has uh, had a stroke and uh, doesn't look like he's going to be returning, so we'll send out our condolences to uh, Damon, our, our first chair on Cubs Out Loud for that one. And... Um, we're just going to just talk about some generic things and what the hell's going on for the summer and all that good stuff. So let's do this. So I guess this has been about, oh, actually it's been a couple months ago now. Uh, back in April, I posted a video on YouTube uh, that showed uh, the poor sanitation practices at the Fuddruckers in Lubbock, Texas, including an employee that, uh, decided that he was going to rub his hands on his shirt and then go right back to work. Um, got some interesting comments on this video. If you want to take a look at it, just click right there and uh, you'll go straight to it. Now, what the deal was, I'd actually witnessed a number of, of things in, you know, during this time period. You know, I saw uh, line workers that were eating french fries with their bare hands out of one of their bins. Uh, a manager was eating slices of cheese with gloves on and then going back to work. And, uh, you know, by the time I whipped my phone out, you know, those things had already happened. And I caught this guy sitting there wiping his hands all over his fucking shirt and then went right back to work. Um, by the time, you know, I mean, somebody had caught me taping, so that's why I stopped. Um, you know, I brought it to a manager's attention and he was just, he was actually shaking. I don't know if he was shaking mad at me, shaking mad at them, but, and, you know, he didn't really seem to care. And I'm going to go and put the disclaimer up now. I was not after a free meal. I could care less. I got money. I don't need a free meal. Okay? That's all there is to it. Um, so I post the video online and I also uh, sent several emails through Fuddruckers' website, you know, saying, hey, look at this. And I have yet, I have yet to have the company do any sort of outreach to me to say, hey, you know what? We're sorry. The franchise owner doesn't seem to give a damn. The corporation, which is Luby's and Fuddruckers, they didn't give a damn either. They've never bothered to contact me. You know what? I would have been happy never eating that Fuddruckers again, but you know what? Fuddruckers and Luby's, fuck y'all. I'm out of here. I will not walk into one of your stores ever again. Now let's take it a step further. Let's talk about the douchebags who work there who decided to leave some real nice comments on my video. Let's start off with Little Floyd 1980, which I think is the guy in question personally. Can't prove it, but I think you are. He had uh, the following comments uh, to make regarding this. Obviously, you don't have anything better to do than to go around trying to get a free meal out of restaurants. Of course, people are going to watch anything that deals with food preparation. You told us to watch how the guy in the glasses wipes his hands on his shirt and goes back to work. Well, we didn't see that, but I do know firsthand that on the other side of that water ball is a box of gloves. So check your facts before you go bad them because you obviously ate the food. Okay, well, here's how I'm going to respond to that. First of all, you see the son of a bitch wiping his hands on his shirt. Are you blind? Are you stupid? Are you just a, a fucking douchebag? Or a little bit of all of the above? Second of all, how would you know about the box of gloves on the other side unless you worked there? Huh. Real fucking smart. My response to that was the fact that I didn't get a free meal out of this. I've also worked in the food service business. I've been in management. And I'll tell you right now, if I'd seen that, I would have fired his ass on the spot. Period. So Lil Floyd 1980, you got something to say to me? Come say it to my face, fool. Next one comes from... Shamilicon. Who says, it's not like anybody who watches some old faggot from Lubbock's videos anyways gives a fuck. Well, you know what, motherfucker? Same thing goes to you too. Say it to my fucking face, bitch. Fuddruckers, fuck off. I will never dine with your establishment again. I will never dine in a Luby's location again. Go to hell. You had your chance to sit there and try to make things right. I didn't want a free meal out of your company. I wanted y'all to acknowledge, hey, you know what? This is a problem. We 
need to fix it. We're going to fix it. Instead, y'all chose to sit there and say, you know what, to hell with to hell with you. We don't care. So you know what, Fuddruckers? Go to hell. You've lost 25 years of worth of my business. I will never step foot inside of one of your stores, ever. Again, try to reach out to me now, because I just don't care. Okay, so as most of y'all know by now, I am the second chair on Cubs Out Loud, the bear podcast of indeterminate length, and uh, one of the longest running gags, at least with this current generation of hosts, has been Damon Loves Trollolo, which you can uh, check out that website, DamonLovesTrollolo.tumblr.com. Well, we got some really bad news this week, and uh, Damon, who I feel so bad for today, has just been devastated, he's been heartbroken. Um, Edward Keel, otherwise known as Trollolo. Had a stroke, and apparently he's uh, been brain... He does now have brain damage, and doesn't look like is going to make it. So, Damon, my heart goes out to you, as long as uh, probably everyone else. Um, here's a little sample of Trollolo in action. I'm so sorry, dude. We're going we're gonna to miss him. We're going to miss him a lot. And I, I hope you have the strength and the courage to get through this. Okay, so summer's here. We've already had a bunch of 100-degree days in West Texas, and uh, electric bills are going to start rising. But fortunately, I can say that power bills in Lubbock aren't going to go up anytime soon. I'm an LPNL customer, but am I really getting the lowest rates? First, you're more than a customer, you're part owner. And because of that, you really do get some of the lowest electric rates in Texas, way lower than Dallas and Houston. In fact, LPNL had the lowest rates for most of last year and the lowest overall average in the state. Pretty impressive, huh? And it's all because of you. After all, you're the boss. And with LPNL, the power is yours. Yeah, she seemed real excited. I, I, I'm scared. The city council, with their several new members and the new mayor, voted down the electric rate increase that was proposed by the LPNL board in Lubbock today. And you know what, guys? Way to go on that one. You know, I I, I couldn't be much more thrilled about that. So my bill's not going to go up at least $10 a month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from somebody who hates seeing three and $400 electric bills. Uh, but I just want to throw this one out there real quick. Okay, you know, this part of Texas has not been deregulated. Um, there is no competition in Lubbock anymore. It's just LPNL, Lubbock Power and Light, owned by the city of Lubbock. So why the hell do you have a $600,000 advertising fund? Why? You're the only game in town. You don't need to advertise. Just take that $600,000 and do something useful with it. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe try to find a way to drop our rates a little bit more. Maybe knock our storm water down a little bit more. I don't know. But do something useful with that money because why do you need to advertise? You don't need to. That's such a waste. But see, going to do what they want to do. Um, we do have a runoff with uh, Dwight, I believe Dwight Fullingham or Jim Girl, one of the two, and Paul Bean. And I really hope Paul Bean gets uh, knocked out this time. It's time to see some of these old farts in city council go bye-bye, which is exactly what happened with Tom Martin getting kicked out. And uh, several other people have retired and left. But, but Paul Bean, I think, is the last real straggler from the days of old. It's time to get rid of him. It's time to get some fresh young blood in that city council and do something decent. Next up, Victor Hernandez. Buddy, you need to go next. So time to restructure the city council. Oh, Todd Klein needs to go, too. That's just because I think he's a douchebag. Well, and that's all the time we got for this episode of Heat Sinks. That was the real short abbreviated version. Be sure to tune in on June. I think we're going to do it June 16th for the COL Drinking Challenge. We're going to be doing a live Google broadcast hangout, which we will put on YouTube on the Cubs Out Loud channel and on the fabulous Tat Dude 806 channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Be sure to stay tuned for COL uh, Cubs Out Loud, the podcast of indeterminate length. You can go to CubsOutloud.com for that one, and we will see y'all next time. Thank you.